Hello, I'm David Sanchez Hernandez. This is uh, another exciting uh, demonstration by Emite. We're here today to show um, something that is unique worldwide, which is we're going to measure LTE, uh, FEDD with carrier aggregation and MIMO and UMA, so realistic fading uh, for the first time in a test lab so that it's repeatable and then companies can test different environments. And we have, on the one hand, the EMIT E500 reverberation chamber system uh, connected to a set of uh, auxiliary equipment pieces, including the VNA for calibration, two and RIT2 MT8820C, uh, E-Node Bs, are, those are ready for cardiac aggregation plus MIMO tests, and those are engaged also to an Anite PropSim FS8 channel emulator, which is ready to run UMA. Um, everything is controlled by a software on a, on a PC by Emite, and uh, we also have the screen for the channel emulator to see something for these demos. We have the latest generation handset uh, for cardiac aggregation, and we we'll see in a minute how fast and easy measuring cardiac aggregation in LTE plus MIMO plus UMA can be done. Also, first of all, we go to the uh, software and check uh, on the testing. We have a predefined testing scenario that we just uh, import, uh, selecting a specific file, and then uh, run it. If we look at the screen of the Enritsu boxes, we'll see uh, that the uh, software will get them ready for operation. Uh, we have two boxes, so the, one of the first things is that the software is taking control of the boxes and then synchronization for LTE carrier aggregation measurements is performed automatically by the software. Uh, as soon as this is performed, then the um, test parameters which have been pre-configured, we're testing 64 QAM um, here on both bands, bands uh, 4 and 17. Um, and all the setting parameters have been set on the boxes. Um, if you look into the RF connectors, you have two on each one of the, of the RIT2 boxes, plus one for uplink. The two on each one for downlink go straight into the channel emulator, and the outputs of the channel emulators are input into the reverberation chamber. Um, if we, uh, all the settings are specified in the software, and the software just tells us that we're ready for attaching the device to the test networks. Uh, we can actually change this, but it's automatically um, searched for. So we simply have to uh, open the door of the chamber. You can see briefly uh, that the chamber is uh, empty. You have no um, electronics inside. Basically, the steers, the platform, uh, and the holder for the DUT. So we just switch on the device. Um, and then insert it into the uh, holder and look into the screen of the Enritsu uh, and we close the door and it's already attached to the test network. Um, so what we'll do now is simply run the measurement and you can see here on the screen that the UMA channel model has been loaded into the um, an, uh, Anite emulator and you will see here that the CIR samples are being run over that channel continuously so that it's emulating you can see here that it's emulating UMA and the measurement starts first by uh, checking the attachment on the device and it will go on um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Now if we go into the display mode, we will see how the uh, cardiac aggregation curves are being measured. Uh, the way it's measured in the river is that it takes uh, a number of samples um, over a variety of steering sequences, and the average is performed for each of the samples. And you will see here on light green, you have the results for band 17. On dark green, you have the results for band 4 and the overall curve is the uh, added value that enrich the boxes are providing for both curves 
So what you see now here is that it is very fast measuring sample by sample. Uh, you will get um, basically the um, averaging uh, of both curves as in real time as measurements progress. There is also the possibility to look into the um, report mode in which you're um, looking into uh, the percentage of the um, progress on the measurements that we're running here. In this particular case we're running a very fast measurement so that we can finish within a very short time. Um, so it, into the display mode you can actually monitor how measurements are progressing. You can also look at the screen uh, of the enricher box and then you will see that uh, the absolute data that is actually being measured at each sample it's monitor uh, over the screen in a very fast mode and by also looking at the screen of the night channel emulator you will see by the green lights here that uh, the, um, the channels are being properly emulated through UMA. So what you see here as more measurements are collected the um, results are being smoothly averaged into the final value and you can see here clearly uh, well, you can see the steers at some point in the unit as well, but you can see here clearly that uh, there's one band that is behaving nicely, that's band 4, there's another band that is not so nicely behaving, that's band 17, uh, that's expected, it's the worst band, it's around um, uh, a lower frequency range, and the overall value for current aggregation, which is the, top, the one on top, it follows the addition of the two curves, and that's where actually um, carriers are expecting to measure um, for different devices. And having said that, the important things here is to look at the sensitivity of the different curves for different settings. And in fact, where you know that in that way, base station software could be optimized to check where a changing of the modulation schemes could be performed, uh, or or in fact, how can the um, uh, base station be optimized for covering these crowded aggregation scenarios. And we'll let it finish. I think it's about, we're about over 50% done already. Um, if you look at the software, you have also a summary of the measurement that your settings that you're performing. Uh, you can actually, uh, actually save the setup of the measurement, uh, pause it at any time. Uh, and a, a different set of options here in the software. Um, so this is it, we will just uh, wait until this is finished, but basically this is it. It's um, LTE, FTD, cardiac aggregation, two downlink carriers, plus MIMO, plus UMA, uh, with a rich boxing.